only I am stupid enough to try fishing from shore when the weather looks like that. <laughs> Look at the snow coming down. <laughs> but hey, I am a fishing fishaholic. <laughs> Let's see if we can catch some pike. Kapow! What is going on, my fellow fishaholic friends? My name is Glenn, and I am certainly a fishaholic. And right now, I need to get my fishing fix on. Um, I've been working for five days, and of course, the day I picked to go fishing, it is snowing, the winds are at 45K, it's freezing outside, and it, this is probably a really bad idea. <laughs> but for you guys, for you guys, I am gonna go out there and try to catch some pike, okay? Um, I don't know how big they are right now. I've heard stories of winter kill and stuff, but uh, hopefully we get lucky. I'm gonna be using this thing that I got from Timu. It's a hammered gold um, flutter spoon with little tiny blades on the bottom and that treble is super sharp. I got it from China. They come in gold and silver. I'm gonna use a gold one today with my stash stick and my uh, SLX bait caster and <laughs> let me just point the camera outside there's the windshield of my truck <laughs> it is frigging snowing guys snowing but well, you see what I do for you guys you see what I put myself through for you <laughs> I'm just kidding guys I've been working for five days and um, this is my serenity if I don't fish there could be big problems in Glenn's life so um, yeah, anyways, come with me on this adventure guys and come get your fishing fix on. Let's see if we can put some pike on the on the shore here. Like I said, um, there used to be trophies in here. This lake has been pounded. Um, I'm just going to be encouraged if I can catch some little ones to show that, uh, you know, maybe this lake is on a comeback. See them when I'm uh, out on the shore. I got to put my <laughs> Milwaukee battery powered coat on and let's see if we can catch a few pikey pike. See you in a bit. Kapow! Alrighty, boys and girls. Got the old stash stick. I got these things from uh, Timu or AliExpress or whatever. It's got the little blades on the bottom. It's a nice big gold kind of flutter spoon. But I found it stays up pretty high in the column. So let's see how good that is. All right, I think we're good. Let's uh, let's give her a crack here, guys. You can see the weather is not really cooperating with me. Yeah, I find that this spoon stays up high in the column, so... Oops. It doesn't, uh... I don't have to worry about it getting into the weeds a whole bunch. Because it's, it's heavy enough to cast, but just the action it has, it, uh... It tends to stay out of the weeds, so I like it. And I can cast it a mile with this SLX. Um, real on my stash stick. <laughs> Let's see if we can cruise up the bank here a bit. <clears throat> Let's give it a crack. Sometimes it's the angle of the dangle, guys. Angle of the dangle. Oh, got one right here on shore. Nice. <laughs> Put the stash stick to work here. Come on. Geez, he came up quick. <laughs> We're on, boys and girls. <laughs> in a friggin' snowstorm. Oh. Come on in here, buddy. He ain't big, but he ain't small. He took it. Come on, buddy. I know. It's a shitty deal. It is a shitty deal. Mr. Pikey Pike. 
Oh. There we go. He's bleeding a bit, but we're on the board. Let's let this guy go quick. Oh, oh, oh. Shit. Get in the water, buddy. Go on. There he goes. <laughs> I did not mean to do that, guys. I hate people that mishandle fish, and um, I just did a terrible job on that fish. I'm sorry about that. I should have had my pliers on me, but I did not. But we're on the board. Yeah, I hate people that mishandle fish, and then I pull that off. I'm sorry, guys. He took off strong, though. And like I said, sometimes it's the angle of the dangle. This, this lake used to be polluted with big pike, trophy pike. But you got dum-dums that come in here and take 48 inch pike out. For what, I don't know. The water smells like sewage. Like why would you take a fish like that? Take a picture of it, let someone else catch it. Like, come on. Only I'd be crazy enough to be out here fishing in a friggin' snowstorm. <laughs> but it's friggin', it's almost May. Why is it snowing? <laughs> One more cast and then Glenn's got to go warm up his hands. <laughs> Fingers are frozen. That was a good little scrap on that pike. There we go, we're on. Oh yes. Pull and drag. <laughs> That's a nice pipe, boys. Trying to muscle them in here quick. Oh yeah. Same size. Cookie cutter. Come here, buddy. I know, it sucks. Alright, we're ready for this one. <laughs> He's a little bit skinnier. Little bit skinnier of a specimen. All right. I know. Hold up, buddy. <laughs> All right. There he is. I'm going to let him go over here where I can get a better shot of the release. This one's still real spunky. Got him in fast. <laughs> just like, they're just snakes. <laughs> He's gone. Beautiful. You know, I never, I never used to be a fan of bait casters, but since I got this stash stick from Six Sense, I am, like, I am hooked. I am hooked on the bait casters now, and uh, I just love them. I can't wait to get the kayak in here. But we're gonna have to wait for a little bit nicer weather, I think, guys. <laughs> oh, that guy was pulling drag. Just a gold spoon with those blades on it, and it is, it's, it's, it's candy for pike, guys. And that's right where I was when I've been getting the bites. Oh, we're on already. <laughs> Man, this is so much fun, guys. Fishing in a snowstorm. <laughs> Just a little guy, a little snot rocket. I think we can boat flip this guy with the old stash stick. <laughs> Just a little tyke. Let's get you loose, buddy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you go. <laughs> I know. You're not gonna be happy till you hook me. 
There he is. Just a little guy. Let's let him go nicely too. I hope. All right. Let's let this guy go. See you, buddy. <laughs> Man, we are doing okay. That's like three and 10 minutes. So, like I said, guys, I got this off of Timu. It's just a gold um, hammered spoon with the blades on the bottom and then the nice, really sharp trebles. And yep, it's from China. But, uh, I mean, you could put, you could put a treble hook on a friggin' fork and chuck it out there and catch a pike. They're pretty aggressive. Yeah, it more, seems like when I'm casting right along the shore is where the bites are happening. <laughs> yeah, that's a little closer to shore. Let's see. It's pretty shallow right here. Three, four feet deep. It's encouraging to see the pike still here, guys. It is encouraging. But there used to be, well, I'm hoping I can maybe still pull a trophy one in here. I'm gonna go warm my hands up and then we'll try again. Sometimes it's the angle of the dangle. Look at that thing in the water. Can you see that? It's pretty, pretty convincing to, uh, it almost looks like a gold frog. <laughs> I just think gold is, works every time for pike in my mind or anything red. stash stick is coming through oh there we go we're on oh he came off <laughs> that was cool I've actually walked down here and dipped it in right here dick and caught fish oh look at the dead carp dead carps Big as my, there's my foot next to one. They're pretty big. Let's dip this in. I can smell those gross carp. Yeah, they smell as bad as they look. Oh, there we go, we're on. Just a little baby, I think. I don't know, he's not bad. <laughs> Finally, we're on. <laughs> oh, buddy, we can boat flip you. You're just a dink. <laughs> just a dink. Oh, he's off. All right. He's just a little guy, but we're going to let him go right now. Right. Smartly. Look at the camera. <laughs> you buddy <laughs> he just a little snake <laughs> right next to the dead carps <laughs> that is a wrap boys and girls I don't know how good the camera is picking this up but I am frigging soaked <laughs> but uh, hey did all right I think I caught four or five um, those little Timu Timu I got them on that site to Timu <laughs> they're just hammered gold or silver with little blades on the bottom and nice sharp trebles. Get them from China. You gotta wait like, you know, six weeks to get them. But for 89 cents, 
they are friggin' amazing. So um, it was encouraging for me to come here and actually catch fish. They weren't very big, but that tells me that they're, you know, they're still here and they're gonna be growing. So I just hope people treat this fishery a little better. Um, you know, let them 40, 40 inches, 42 inches, let them go. Those are females usually, and they're usually the breeders. And you know, not that I'm telling you how to fish, but if you want to fish in the future, just let them go. Take a picture of them, and then you got it forever. But anyways, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you don't like this video, click the dislike button twice. <laughs> See you guys on the next one. Ta-ta!